Hi, this is Amy with the MaxBot, and this is your one minute tech tip. Today, I'll show you how to send large email attachments with MailDrop and iCloud. If you've ever tried to send a large email attachment, then you might get something like this. I can't send this message because most of the time, messages over 10 megabytes are going to overload email servers. This one actually gives me 28 megabytes maximum. I usually say 10 to 15 is a good etiquette rule to follow. Apple has built in a great way to actually send large email attachments without running into this problem. So here's all we have to do. All we do is go to Mail Preferences and then click on your iCloud account. And down here it says Send Large Attachments with MailDrop. I'm going to check that box. Now the really cool thing is that just because I have an iCloud account and I can send with my iCloud account, I can also send with any of my other mail accounts using MailDrop using iCloud. If I click on Gmail, I can also check the box to send large attachments with that account and the same thing on my Comcast account. So I'm going to check all the boxes so I'll never have a problem with any mail attachments. So now when I send my message, I just click send like a normal message. And this time it's going to use mail drop and it's going to send out. Now the difference is this is not going to send as an attachment. It's going to show up as a download link that your recipient can download and Apple will keep that on the server for 30 days. It's not going to clog up the email boxes and everyone's happy. So that's your tech tip for today. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.